In today's video I'm going to talk about how to create an amazing VR experience using Lumion Pro. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer at ICNA. So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. Today's video is dedicated to VR. So we did previously a VR experience in Lumion uh, video already on YouTube, but I wanted to give it an update and I'm using now Lumion Pro 11.5. And I want to talk a little bit about um, things to avoid and things to be mindful of when you're actually doing a, a VR experience for your client. So the first thing to be mindful is uh, so I had this uh, 3D um, uh, figure here, uh, actually a shadowy figure, not 3D. Um, just to, 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 to pinpoint the, the, um, the point of view that I'm going to do my VR experience from. So basically what you can create in Lumion, it's a static image. Okay, so you don't have the wind, you don't have sound. So it's basically static. Um, but what you got, it's a stereoscopic effect. So it gives you a sense of depth when you actually with the uh, Oculus Go. So this is Oculus Go is the ones I'm using. OK, of course, now you have other ones like Oculus Quest, uh, much better quality. But this is the ones this is the one I use um, in this video and the one I, the only one I have. Uh, so things to be mindful when you're actually creating the experience is things that you don't bother so much. Like, for example, I'm going to give you a, a detail here, like construction details. OK, like really straight edges when in the real world there isn't this straight edge normally. OK, um, things like junctions, they are very um, in your face when you actually with the with the Oculus Go, okay. So when you're doing on a screen an image or an animation, this little detail sometimes they are not that important because the main design idea you've got it, uh, you want to pass to your clients. He you know, he loves it, you know. And um, even in an animation, it's everything pretty cool. But in the Oculus Go, when you actually inside and everything is to scale, and you, um, I always do the experience at 160, my height. You can do a little bit higher, of course. Um, you, you can select the, the the point of view, the height you've got uh, when you are actually um, using the the Oculus Go. You see all these little details, okay? So any junctions, any look, things that really annoy me are like things like this. But of course. In, in terms of timing, and uh, this would be beautifully done if it was actually 3D roof with all the different, you know, tiling of the roof. Um, it will be much better, much better quality, of course. But I don't think it's worth it when you're actually just trying to show. But I don't think it's worth it when you're actually just trying to show the design of your garden or the terrace, okay? But all these little details is very clear when you actually with the Oculus Go. So let's, you know, I'm going to show you and I'm going to add this video again in the end if you want to, you know, if you want to check it out. But let's go and see the video I actually have got. So of course, uh, I'm recording the video on the on the um, using the Oculus Go and you see everything when you with the actual uh, um, goggles, it's everything is straight. OK, uh, but doing the video, you it's, you know, on an angle. So 360 is the app I'm using 360 photos. Um, and basically, I just go and pick up the photo I've got from uh, Lumion. I'll, you know, show you how to do um, an experience VR experience in Lumion using the, the the Lumion editor. So this is what you see. OK, so as you can see, this is more or less where my guide there is in the in the model. So and you can add text like you see here. But as you can see, you see the roof when you actually with the with the Oculus is very, you know, it's really annoying if you really attention to detail It's quite annoying. Things like that, things, for example, where pillows um, actually cross the material you're going to see here now. You see there in the bottom, you see this is annoying to me, like I'm gonna, just going to pause it. Little details like this, because when you with, uh, with the Oculus Go in your face, you, you, you're really looking into it. It's like a, a pillow, a, a normal scale pillow. OK, this is really annoying. So just be mindful of that. 
of course, I don't think, you know, if you do this for your client, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to actually add the file. If you have uh, Oculus Go or Oculus Quest, I'm going to add a link to, I'll add this to OneDrive cloud service or something like this. I'll add the link if you want to try it out, okay? Because each image actually takes a long time um, in using stereoscopic um, in Lumion, okay? It actually takes a lot of time to render. So if you really want to try it, I'll uh, add that image. But it's beautifully, as you can see, the reflections. This is another, another, um, another um, project, okay? So don't worry about the angle here. When you eat the Oculus Go, everything is pretty straight, okay? But I'm just gonna show you another thing here. Again, the roof, it's really, really annoying. As you can see, I'm gonna pause it. Uh, it's for for me when I'm doing a project for a uh, client. I'm not wasting time in doing the actual 3D roof. That probably would be the most correct thing to do because I want to really show the, the the ideas for the garden and for for the terraces. So I'm much more you know in terms of materials, uh, planting the structure, the layout. That's what I'm focused on. The architecture is there as context only. So. You know, it, it depends on you, but if you have a bigger project that you really want to impress, maybe waste a bit of time in this kind of things, like where the roof goes with the pillar. And I'm going to show you another mistake here um, in a bit. Okay, so this text, I was not happy uh, with it as well. As you can see here, this post here from this is like um, a sale kind of uh, textile for shadow. Uh, it's actually suspended. It's in the air. Okay, so this becomes really, really clear when you have the Oculus uh, Go um, actually in your face. But everything else is pretty cool. That one is fine. This is this uh, one. The other one is suspended again. But as you can see, even in the swimming pool, always add the reflection planes because they, they are beautifully uh, to look at when you actually have the Oculus Go. And the materials are pretty cool. Uh, the textures work fine. The sun effect, the, the, the sky, everything actually it works really, really well. So let's go back to, 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 to Lumion. If you've got, um, you can have a collection, of course, of uh, images, but you just select in the app uh, for going from one image to the another. So it's not actually interactive in terms of that you can walk around in the project, okay? Not like you have in Twin Motion, for example, but it, it, it works pretty, pretty well for me anyway. So let's go and check it out how you can actually uh, create this um, VR experience. So I'm just gonna take this figure now, okay? So I go here, 360 panorama images, and I've got here my panorama image, the actual, the, the one that I actually use, okay? So you have a few effects, not a lot. So the, the default settings like you have for other things like animation and the um, image editor, uh, you don't have it in here, but you can add some effects, okay? Not all of them, Okay, but you can have quite a lot of them. Okay, so as you can see in here, it shows you which ones are available or not. So I don't add a lot of uh, effects. Just to give you an idea, this image, a stereoscopic that you viewed the video of, it took me eight hours to render. Okay, so this was not in this PC, actually it was in my laptop, it's a bit weaker, but it still is going to take you maybe six, six hours, five hours, depends on the complexity. Uh, things to be mindful as well, actually that I wanted to talk a little bit about it before we actually go here in the editor, is that uh, 3D, uh, this is actually an edit uh, a 3D model plant, okay, so sorry about the dog if you're listening that, um, and it works really well when you're in the VR. This is a bougainvillea from the default Lumion library, and it's kind of face me uh, texture. So it works beautifully, okay, Not nothing to add to it. Um, I think it works fine for what it is, but you can see when you're looking up, from with the Oculus Go, you can see that some of the leaves are actually 2D. So you, you lose a little bit. Of course, I can I could add a Bougainvillea, 3D Bougainvillea, but I don't think it's worth it. And don't forget the more things you add in, in planting and the more things in different uh, depths, is, the longer it's gonna take, okay? So I'm just gonna go through the things I do a little bit. So for this specific case, I, the only thing I did was take just uh, um, 
0 0.1 uh, of the saturation everything else i kept it okay i add sharpen i always add sharpen in uh, in lumion the reflections of course the windows the water really really important you really want to see this even the, the windows up i add reflection planes okay um i think that's really worth it and of course uh, a real sky i will even you know add uh, a sky with um, maybe some nicer clouds you know and play around with it um but yeah but uh, and you know be mindful of the shadows because it's beautiful work the shadows and the materials as well so when you go and you render your panorama so you've chosen your point of view don't forget let me just show you here a thing that you can you can add as well maybe not if you do like okay this is really small so of course i'm only going to use uh, do one um one 360 experience but if you have a bigger place you can do a couple or three images and one of them can be with uh, with small texts you know explaining things of, of furniture or things of um um uh, you know anything you want to add in terms of structure or even measurements you can add so you can have an experience of maybe two or three images just to give the effect of the layout of the garden the plant and a last image um with the uh, bits and pieces of text that to to give a bit of extra information while the client is looking at okay so and all this is going to be static as you see in the video as you can see here you know what i was talking about the pillows this is really annoying so you know you would you could go and um and actually um just press shift shift uh, in the keyboard maintains the same um height or you know it's just moving from one side to the other so you probably do something like this a little bit okay uh, so let's go back to the 360 panorama. So when you actually render, uh, a thing to be mindful of is that, of course, you choose what you want. If you uh, have any other uh, device or any other application, 360 images, whatever um, you can work with, uh, you go to generic and you choose the, the, the quality. Um, for my Oculus Go or uh, any other uh, um, VR uh, gear, you go in this one and press this one. I put output to maximum and stereoscopic okay it takes much much less if in terms of rendering time if it's not stereoscopic but for me it's not worth it okay so stereoscopic gives you the sense of depth so especially if you have a lot of planting if you have plants in different layers with different heights um with different depths of course in the garden from the viewpoint you have um stereoscopic is a must okay so this is really really important in here in the, the advanced settings you can have this um I don't touch this, um, uh, you know, you can go a little bit more with the horizontal slices or, you know, you can do here if you if you if you have some eye uh, adaption that you need to make, but I don't touch that and, you know, you start rendering. So what you're going to get is an image that I'm going to show you next. So this is what you get. OK, so you have here the the image in slices when you're doing the rendering you actually see that it does one eye first and the other eye after okay so basically you upload this image to your uh, um, vr uh, headset and that's it you know you use a 360 photo um, application inside you you can find it in the oculus um, app store um to download and it's free uh, and basically you view it as a static image I think it works beautifully. I think it's another extra experience for your client, okay, that you can add. Um, in the future, it will be beautiful to will actually walk through the garden um, like you have uh, in the twin motion um, VR headset. The plus thing here is that, you know, you have this, uh, this kind of uh, equipment. It, you know, you can take it anywhere, very easy. With twin motion VR, um, uh, headset you have to actually be plugged in 
in your desktop so you know not so practi practical okay um, but I think this works really really beautifully let me know what you think if you want to check out the file I'll add to the description of the video plus I'll add again the video that I've shown you just you know for you to take a look especially you know take a look at that little details that can be quite annoying when you actually after rendering you know for eight hours or something like this the images you actually see uh, details and you maybe you would like to change or something like this. Check it out in the end. Let me know what you think. See you guys in the next video.